In this video, we will continue discussing about chart types. So, we saw bar chart, stack bar chart, pie chart and histogram. Let us look at what is box plot, scatter plot and line chart in this video. Box plot is used to provide a summary of one or more numeric values. Uh, for example, in uh, last video we saw uh, 60 students marks represented as a histogram, right. We can use the same uh, students marks and you can represent using the box plot. So, but box plot gives more information and it gives the uh, feel of the data. So, here is the sample box plot using the data we discussed in the previous slide. So, here uh, there are um, here yeah, there is a minimum value, um, this, this indicates this color indicates uh, marks in a subject A and this indicates marks in a subject B, uh, subject A and subject B. Okay, there is a minimum value 43 and it is a maximum value 98. So, the range is uh, 43 to 98, that is the range of the marks uh, from the students performance. And uh, you see there is a 21st, 25th percentile that is Q1, this is the 25th percentile and uh, this is the 75th percentile and the median is the 50th percentile. So, the 25th percentile is this value, this is the lower, uh, lower edge of the box and the upper edge of this rectangle is uh, the 75th percentile. The percentile indicates there are 25 percent, 25 percent of values in this uh, in this performance will be below this particular value. Uh, that is, we have 60 students, uh, 15 students who have got marked less than 15, 56.25, and there are 15 st uh, students who have got marked uh, more than 75.25. That is a good thing, and um, and the this this length indicates uh, the distance like a distribution 56 to 43 is very less but uh, there's a distribution like uh, deviation is more here and this middle line indicates the median value median is 64 um, for a 60 students median will be the value of on a 30 than uh, 31st uh, students average uh, if you arrange the numbers in ascending order, you pick the middle number, it is a median number, right? So, that is a median value. So, median is always 50th percentile of the mark. That is when we say we want to uh, see the median score and select the students above the median score, which means you are selecting the 50 percent of students in your class. And uh, the median is the Q2. So, this is Q1, this is below this is Q1, uh, this is Q2, this is Q3 and this will be Q4. So, below this is Q1, above this is Q, uh, the fourth quartile, this is Q3, this is Q, Q2, okay. So, what is the average? Average is this cross mark. You can see, can you see the cross mark? This cross mark is the average. So, it is 55.37 in this particular course and this subject, the average is 61 marks. So, this box plot provides you the minimum value, maximum value how this marks is distributed uh, for all the, across all the students. For example, with average, uh, median value and uh, there are a lot of students in the fourth, uh, fourth uh, quartiles that is 25 to 98, but the deviation is more here. But lot of students, 15 students in 56 to 43, there are like less deviation there. Also, we can use the same box plot to compare the marks in a second subject. For same set of students, the marks in a second subject can be viewed here. See. Uh, there uh, the marks is almost similar for okay the 40 is the minimum and uh, 91 is the maximum and uh, 52, 56, 70, 75 it is comparable and it is also equal. So, the performance in subject A and subject B is, uh, is equal or you can use the box plot to compare the performance of two classes say if you are teaching the same subject to two classes uh, class A and class B and uh, you can conduct test and that marks can be plotted in a box plot and you can compare why uh, uh, one particular class is doing better or not, you can know from this figure. So, by box plot uh, you can get the distribution of data, uh, not like a histogram, but you can get the distribution of data and uh, you get the uh, details like a range, um, a deviation in each quarter, everything can be uh, seen from the box plot. Uh, in a box plot, we can also have outliers. For example, in this uh, particular example, 
I add a 3 marks I or I change the 3 marks uh, to 2517 uh, or 2518. So, this 2, this is 5, this is 8, so middle one is 5. So, I added uh, 3 marks uh, because well below the minimum range that is 43 and 40. So, if you have outliers, uh, the box plot will indicate uh, this because the, di the difference from uh, 43 to 8 is too huge. Uh, if, it, if you want to include that, the deviation will be really huge and this will reduce very small like 55 to 54. So, if you remove that as outlier, it will not change much. So, they remove these 3 marks as the outlier and the outlier can be seen here. Similarly, if you have uh, maximum mark uh, 98, uh, only one student above that. Uh, so, suppose consider that uh, if you have a chart here about 80, only 2 or 3 students got uh, around uh, 91, 92, they will be like outliers. Um, when I was talking about uh, processing the data, I mentioned that you have to be careful on outliers. So, outliers uh, also very, should be very careful on outliers. So, in some research you might want to remove the outliers data or you want to consider why these students are outliers, why there was extra uh, marks for the students, or why they are not able to uh, perform well. There might be these students uh, who were not able to do good in exam because they were not feeling well during that day. Uh, but the attendance is really good. If you want to create a correlation between attendance and marks, you do not want to use these marks. Okay? That is why the outliers can be uh, removed because if you know these students did not perform well not because of uh, they did not uh, attend the class or did not understand instead they are not feeling well, so they are not able to sit in the class or something like that. So, you should be careful on outliers. So, box plot is the one plot which tells you uh, outliers, uh, the other more charts which can tell you outliers, but box plot is the easiest one give you the feeling also the outliers. Also, the data can be added on the box plot. It is not just that you can create the um, sense of data in a, in a this rectangle box or box plot. Also, you can have a data around this. So, each data plotted will be like it looks like this. So, the data around this will look like that. The distribution of data everything can be plotted in the same chart uh, to get a more feeling or more sense of the data. It is uh, it's not required, but it is just you can add the data on the box plot. Let us look at the scatter plot. Scatter plot is plotted across 2 or 3 axes, uh, usually 2 axes is easy to uh, compare. It is to understand the relationship between 2 variables. Uh, it is not uh, just a distribution also to understand the relationship between 2 variables. Example uh, plotting the marks in a cos A and cos B, uh, we saw in a last, uh, last slide uh, cos A and cos B marks has been shown in the box plot. I am plotting the marks of course A and course B uh, that is subject A and subject B in a uh, scatter plot. Here I am not using all the 60 students data obviously, so because that will uh, that will not lead to a, a good figure. So, I just removed most of the data, I kept only 15 data. So, the scatter plot shows here that uh, the student uh, who got so marks uh, 40 something say 40 5 or something who got around 25 marks in a subject B. Similarly, the student who got uh, say 65 or something who got around 35, uh, but 80 marks student who got 80 marks who got around 75 or the students who got uh, 65 also get a mark around 8, 75. So, if the student who got 65 in a subject A got around 75 marks in course B. Uh, so, why we are plotting this uh, scatter plot? I want to understand the relationship between the marks in course A versus course B, whether the student who can do well in a course A also can do well in course B or there are some student who can really do good uh, do good in this course say 45, but is not able to do uh, well in the other course or some student who is doing ok in this course, uh, but it can do up to 90 marks in the other course. So, we might want to know why these students are uh, not able to do well in this course or why this student is not able to well in this course. So, to understand the relationship between these two uh, variables that is marks in uh, course A and course B, we can use the scatter plot or uh, you can uh, do a scatter plot for attendance versus performance or scatter plot of students um, uh, engagement in the performance lot of other variables. So, let us move on to the uh, next chart, line chart. 
in line chart lines represent the trend of the variable over time. So, the line chart you might have seen it everywhere it is line chart is very common and uh, it is very uh, useful to track the multiple variables over time and it is very very easy to understand that is why it is used most uh, commonly. Let us look at the line chart of average absentee rate uh, from grade 9 to grade 12 across uh, boys and girls. Uh, it is not over time, it is over different uh, grades. Okay. Line chart is not always it should be over time, it should be can be like uh, to uh, check the percentage variance over different grades. Uh, we saw this uh, similar chart in a stacked bar chart also in the bar chart example. So, the same uh, value can be plotted as the line chart. In this chart, uh, it is easy to understand that girls average absentee rate is always below the boys average absentee rate and uh, boys average absentee rate is increasing for every uh, grades, girls and boys both. So, you saw like a box plot, uh, line chart also scatter plot. So, what is the difference between box plot and line chart? Also, can you list down when to use box plot instead of line chart? Line chart is used to track progress over time and box plot is to provide a summary of data at one particular time say class A students uh, marks or uh, grade 9 boy students uh, attendance rate or something like that. And, uh, Box plot will give more sense of data like uh, what is the minimum range, what is the maximum value, what is the distribution of data in the particular grade or particular class. But if we can combine both, there will be a chart like uh, we can combine uh, both uh, line chart versus and the uh, box plot. Uh, for example, uh, grade 9, we saw there is a 2 marks, right? So, 2 values. You can have the box plot here. You can have a different bar plot here, something like that. So, for grade 9, there's two. So, you can have a lot of box plot also with the trend change also can be shown using the line chart. That will be more helpful to understand there is a trend between uh, each grades and the boys and the girls absentee rates was observed. Also, you can get the sense of data in each class. So, you can combine uh, this kind of basic charts to create a new chart. Okay. So, it is not that you have to use only one chart for uh, uh, representation, you can combine this chart and make a new chart which makes more easy to understand and more sense of data and uh, more inferences from the data as possible. So, in this video uh, we talked about box plot, scatter plot and line chart. Thank you.